All right, shalom, brothers and sisters in the shoot. I'm your brother Muat Tadawam coming to you again with another Friday face against Esau. And today's date is uh, June 24, 2022, the year of the turn up. And today we're going to go into some headlines. We're going to go into scriptures and we're going to take a look at this wicked queendom known as Babylon America, Great Babylon America. Okay, so before we get started here, I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash, double honors to teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone. Also to you brothers out there that are putting on the truth, faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep, and to you brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom. Now we're gonna go, as you know how this works, is we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna share the screen, we're gonna go into some headlines, and we're gonna go into the scriptures. And we're gonna talk about the nonsense that's going on here in Great Babylon America. Now you know a lot of our people are still asleep, okay? So we still have some to hopefully lack out there in these different parts of this country um, that, that needs to hear this truth and be awakened. And we're awakening a lot of these people uh, every day through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Baji Yahweh Shai using the prophets, the man here uh, in this wicked queendom across this globe uh, to do the work as we are told to do, a servants of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, this first headline. You know, I want you to take a look at this. I want to share the screen, so bear with me for one second here. And here, I'm sharing the screen. So now you can see the first uh, headline here. It says, uh, White Lives Matter Group Protest Juneteenth Celebration in, in Tennessee. And it goes, White Lives Matter Group, a group of white nationalists held protests on Saturday in Franklin, Tennessee, disrupting the city's second annual Juneteenth celebration. And it will go on here. And it says approximately 10 young men wore matching white shirts and matching logos and black skull uh, covering face coverings. Now it goes on and shows these, these, uh, these men, okay? And these men, okay? These men are not, these men are covering their face. Now, I've always said it before, and a lot of brothers could agree with this, that, you know, Esau, on top of being a, a sodomite, a parasite, and a disease of this earth, okay, and the most vile, wicked creation ever, okay, he's also coward. See, if you ask him to say, you don't, you don't need to go, you don't need to go and cover your face. See, we don't go, we don't cover our face. We come right on, we tell you, Babylon is going to be destroyed. The devil is a so-called white man, you Edomites, okay, all across the world, okay, whether you want to call yourself um, uh, Canadian, American, British, Australian, it doesn't matter. And we show you, we show our face the same way I'm showing my face right now. Okay, so, but they go there as cowards, only 10 of them, that tells you the majority of these people uh, don't even have the nerve and the guts to come out and speak against them that they don't, that they, they don't have any type of uh, um, um, feelings for, okay? This is the book of Jeremiah uh, 5 and 21, because mainly I'm gonna really be going and directing this uh, towards uh, the, the Jakes them out there who are out there celebrating this June thing this past weekend, it says, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, said the Lord, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Now we know this is talking about Esau queendom, okay? That is not going to go past the time that Yahweh Shimei Ashai set for it to do all the wickedness of this can. Now, we know this man came out of the caves, you know, about somewhere around the 13th uh, century. Okay. And right now he's been, he, he's escalated from that little uh, snake in the garden. Okay. All the way to this, uh, this dragon. Okay. You know, this, uh, this, uh, this is supposed to be unstoppable uh, beast. Okay. Right now. And yeah, but he has but a short time that he has to, that he has to rule in wickedness. And the Lord Yahweh Shimei Ashai has already set that time and they can't go past it. But our people don't recognize it. See, we in this truth and this faith, we recognize that this man has a limited time, that he has to do the wickedness that he does. We, we can tell him what wickedness he's going to do next, as you're going to see throughout this uh, lesson, okay, that Esau is very predictable right now. I mean, it's like looking at him as you looking at the sun or looking outside in a, in a broad daylight. But our people don't see this because it's stupid. They, they want to celebrate these wicked he, hidden holidays. And let's put it this way, okay? These are these are Edomites that want to go down protest. Okay, you're 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 a hypocrite, and we're gonna go a little bit more into how hypocritical these doggone people really are. Okay, and it says, uh, yet can they not pass away? But this people had a revolting and a rebellious side. These Hebrew Israelites, okay, you two thirds out there, you so-called black Native American Latinos, and it says they are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, how about you shy thy power that give it rain, but the former and the latter in his season. He reserved unto us the appointment weeks of the harvest, okay? So we understand that there's gonna be great judgment that's gonna be coming 
here on, 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 great, on great Babylon in America. And of course, it's earth against the wicked, against these heathen nations that has oppressed, you know, the tribe of Israel, okay? So-called Blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos, okay? But our people don't want to see that because why? They still want to stay in this perpetual state of slavery, okay? The mind is gone, okay? You're talking about Egypt, Egyptology, okay? Our people have that constant, uh, that, that slave mentality, okay? And it just never left them, okay? Now let's take a look into the next headline here because I'm gonna share my screen with you. Give me a break here, um, one minute. And we're gonna go into the next headline here. And the next, uh, for these next, for these uh, next, for these next two headlines here, um, uh, these next two headlines, I have some scriptures that's gonna go into, this is gonna go heavy into Moab, okay? Now we're gonna talk about Moab heavily in this uh, for a little bit um, and before we move on because Moab, really actually next to Esau is the second greatest oppressor of our people here in Great Babylon, America. I'll explain that to you as we move into this. So let me share the screen, the screen with you, okay? And let's go into the first headline here. I'm gonna read those headlines for you and it says, uh, woman, this is from the Washington Post, it says, woman charged with hate crime after an anti-Asian attack, authorities say. Now, supposedly, you know, this Florida woman, um, you know, she told, her, she told these uh, group of uh, so-called Asians, you know, to go back to their land, go back into their country or whatever the case like that. So her name is Madeline Barker, 47. Um, you're looking at her, you could call her Jake. You know, she might not be one, but either way, they call it a hate crime, okay? So they did spot her and now they're gonna charge her. Now let's go, let's take a look here. Um, let's go into, uh, let's go and take a look at this other one. It says, uh, this is the CBS Los Angeles and it says, veteran randomly punch loses consciousness near a Koreatown bus stop. So apparently this uh, guy was walking um, and he got randomly punched. Now let's take a look here and see if I could bring this video here. It doesn't show the video. Um, let's see if I can bring it back here. So boom, there it is right there. Um, if you can see that. Now the assailant in this video, uh, the assailant in this video, uh, he did turn out to look like what you would consider to be a J. Now, Lately, you've seen a lot of this is going on, and you've seen when during the COVID time, you know, of course, Trump came out and called the 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 scamdemic, you know, the the kung fu virus and all the other stuff like that, which created a lot of these animosity towards um, these more bites. Okay, now we say more bite, which is the so-called Chinese, but of course, against what they call the Asians in general. Now, these people are not innocent. Like I said, I mentioned earlier, they are the second greatest oppressor of our people, and if you haven't experienced oppression or racism from these people yet, then you haven't actually stepped over your house, okay? Let's go into the scriptures here. Let's talk about Moab because, of course, when this happens to these people, okay, there's all these laws and all these things that comes into place and, you know, let's protect them and all of a sudden it's a hate crime and all the other different things, okay? Now, Esau did not do this for us, okay? Esau did not do all of these things for us. Let's go into the book of uh, Jeremiah 48, because let's talk about what's going to really take place here with Moab. I brought a lesson out here before in regards to Moab, because these are some really, really devious people, okay? Very devious people, and they're the main cause of our people, obesity problem, heart attack, diabetes, okay? And their food is absolute, their food is basically not even flushable in the toilet, okay? This is Jeremiah 48, and it's time with verse 11, it says, Moab had been at ease from his youth, and he had settled on his lees and had not been emptied from vessel to vessel, neither had he gone into captivity. Therefore, his taste remained in him and his sin is not changed. Okay, don't you see these, those of you experience, especially those of you who live in the Bay Area of California, you, you, you don't see them how they, they drive around, they have the, the, the expensive purses, they have the expensive clothes, they drive around, they have their own little communities. And if you dare go and go eat in Koreatown or one of these places like that, which I I'd strongly advise any of you to go and eat in these doggone uh, these these people uh, restaurants, okay? They will spit and shit in your damn food, or or, or, or put uh, dead animals as meat, okay? In your damn food. I many many years ago, I've eaten in one of these restaurants, and the soup was made out of damn newspaper. I'm doggone scooping it up. I'm looking. What the hell is this? Okay, it was newspaper, pieces of newspaper that they mixed with water, and, and these are some filthy dogs. But yeah, Shia Mashiach said the dogs come in and lick our wounds. Literally, these people are doggone dogs okay they're dogs let's continue here this is verse 15 and it says moab is spoiled and gone up out of the cities and his chosen young man uh gone down to the slaughter said the king whose name is the lord of hosts yahweh shim yahweh shai so there's a great judgment that's gonna be coming to you doggone uh you you, you damn uh, uh so-called chinese okay 
and all the other nations out there that have fallen under the banner of being Asians, okay? The white, the so-called white man can't protect you with his bullshit, okay? And you should also consider, why is he trying to, why is he coming up saying, trying to come up with this anti-hate Asian rights? Is he trying to draw the attention from the abomination and the sick crap that this demented demon has done to us? Let me show you, let me give you an example of what this sick demented demon has done to us. And I'm gonna continue here. Let's bring up uh, proof number one. Here it is right here. There it is right there. Look at the sick demented demon has done to us, okay? This is, this is doggone hate, but they haven't, they haven't paid for this yet, okay? But they will. We're going to go back and we're going to go back and take a look at that, okay? Again, all right? So let's go back. Let's continue on here. This is our verse 16. It says, the calamity of Moab is near to come and his affliction hasted fast, okay? We're looking forward to this. When I heard that there was an earthquake in China and it killed thousands of people and they saw the house flood away like that, that was one of the best days of my, the best days I had for the week, okay? Okay? Because see, these some proud ass people that come over here. You haven't put the blood, sweat, and tears that we did over here, and you've prospered. Now we understand those of us who are in this truth. We understand that you know we're here for judge. We're here for judgment, okay, and punishment, not 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 to uh um to prosper here. But you people make sure you rub it in our face, okay? You're the ones that get you. You're the ones that get to sit next to Esau, and Esau uses y'all, okay, to help oppress us too, okay? This is uh verse uh 25 here, and it says. The horn of Moab is cut off and his arm is broken, said the Lord Yahweh Shimeao Shai. And it says, Make ye him drunken, for he magnify himself against the Lord Yahweh Shimeao Shai. Moab also shall wallow in his vomit, and he also should be in derision. Okay? So, Moab, okay, when you wallow in your damn vomit, it means you're choking. And that's what you see going on right now. That's why they have famine over there. Okay? Let's be realistic here. Hey, China's got a so called big military, but just like everything that they make, it's a paper. Okay, it's paperweight. Okay, name one doggone thing, one war that the China has really fought in modern times. They haven't. They haven't fought any type of modern warfare. Okay, now they have numbers because they, they screw like doggone bunny rabbits. Okay, they have the numbers, but again, that's what makes them so proud because being that nation that has over two billion people. Okay, they've never had to. Have, they've never had to face death other than natural death. You know, from a you know earthquake or or storm that, that that put them to death. But other than that. They don't really have to deal with everything. They've, they've, they've managed to become very rich, okay, off uh, Great Babylon America. The jobs that should have been ours, the jobs that should have been Jake's, okay, have gone to these damn doggone chinks, okay? And that's what you see going on right now, okay? But Yahweh Shemashai is going to e equate that uh, and give them the judgment that he's going to be giving uh, these Edomites. And it says, this is verse 20, and it says, O ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities and dwell in the rocks and be like the dove that make it her nest in the size of the whole of her mouth. So there's a warning that's coming out to you, okay? Some people say, well, that's in the past, okay? No, let's continue on further here. This is our, this is our verse 29, it says, we have heard the pride of Moab. See that, didn't I just talk about the pride? Okay, he's exceedingly proud. These doggone Chinese are proud. I remember working for, for one of them. I remember when I was in service, one of my, the commander was, was, was one of them, like that. And he can understand why the Edomites them just kind of smile and face, but they wouldn't hang around his ass. And I said, you don't know why? It's because you're a doggone chink, sir. Okay? But you look at me like real rare that I said, I said, yeah, the same way they don't hang around niggas. But what? What, you shock? Okay? But you, you so, you so doggone proud. You, you so want to, you so want to, oh, so please them. Go ahead, oh, please them. I don't give a crap about trying to please the so-called, so-called white man. And now it did. Even when I was out in the professional world, I didn't. And they knew it. Okay? And it says, his loftiness and his arrogance and his pride and the haughtiness of his heart. Why? Hey, you come over here, you have Chinatown, okay? You have Japantown, you have uh, uh, Vietnamese, all, all of them. Let's just, let's just let's clock them all in one, okay? Well, let's talk about more of you Chinese, okay? You, you're proud as hell, okay? You got all your businesses, you know, you're booming, all of that stuff, and so you're proud. You have that pride, okay? And that's why you look down at our people, okay? Let's go to verse 38, and it says, there shall be lamentation journey upon the house of Moab and in the streets thereof. For I have broken Moab like a vessel wherein no pleasure, said the Lord Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. So guess what? Okay, Esau can't protect you. These Edomites are attacking you. Jake, the two thirds are there going to attack you. There's not going to be a man of the Lord that's going to attack you. There's not going to be anyone that's true that is going to do lay, lay pause on you, unless, of course, you do something and then we will defend ourselves. But other than that, you're going to be dealing. Okay, since you like to deal with Esau and you like to deal with all of the, 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 great, the great things that come with being at the top or in the top tier, you know, uh, tri uh, tribe that's here in, um, in uh, Edom, okay, which is you got your 
number one, people are going to be a so-called white man. And then, of course, you don't want more bites, uh, the next set of people that are doing really damn well. OK, so you're in that top tier that, that those those elite people, OK, living here that is enjoying the place. So you're going to get the calamities, too. OK, and it says this is verse 39 and it says they shall howl saying, how is it broken down? How to, how had Moab turned back with shame? So shall Moab be in derision and dismaying to all of them about him. OK, so. And going into verse 14, it says, For thus said the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai, Behold, he shall fly as an eagle and shall spread his wings over Moab. <laughs> now, that word eagle should have given you a clue as to exactly what's going to happen. There is going to be some friction between America and China eventually. And China, you will be broken. You're not, you're not in the prophecy to take down Great Babylon America. Okay, we're going to go and who's going to be the, who's in the prophecy to take down Great Babylon America? It's military forces. Okay, like I say, the China the dragon, the dragon military, China, which is the assembly to use a dragon. Okay, it's paperweight. It's it's pa it's paperweight. It's crap. Okay, this is verse forty-two, and it says that Moab shall be destroyed from being a people because he had magnified himself against the Lord Yahweh Okay, need I say some more? Okay, let's go into verse forty, uh, verse forty-three, and it says, "Fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon thee, O inhabitant of Moab," said the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai. Why is it snare and pit? You people are actually beating because you're. You, do you know that these Moabites are the ones that the, the, the skin altering color, but they try to lighten their skin. You know that they sell that. You know that they are the biggest consumers of that. OK, they, they can they, they try to they whiten their skin to the point and get the, the makeup to try to, you know, trim down, try to get their eyes to be a little bit more round. That's why you see anime eyes always look a little bit round. OK, because they don't they, they, they're not proud of what, what they were given, which is their, 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 their special feature. OK, they want to look more like these doggone crackers. Why? OK, and they're fashioning themselves and their lifestyle and everything after these doggone crackers. At the same time, they understand that they will need them. But at the same time, they have the people like us who they're going to oppress. So I don't have any pity for these doggone fools. OK, when you about Shemiah Shai bring that judgment on them. This is verse 47, because this is what's really going to be the, the final blow to these doggone Moabites. And it says, yet will I bring again the captivity of Moab in the latter days, said the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai, thus far as the judgment of Moab. So what are the latter days? We're going into those latter days. You doggone Chinese are going to go into slavery, okay? All two billion of you, whatever's left of you after World War III, okay? You're going to go into slavery. So that being said, let's go into the other. Um, let's let me share my screen with you, and we're going to go into some other headlines here, okay? So we're going to go into this one here, and you've got to see this here because we're going to go into some hypocrisy here. Because remember, we talked about. Uh, let me pause this for a second. We talked about. Uh, we talked about Esau, and how Esau. It's trying to label, you know, any type of attack on these doggone, uh, uh, these doggone mobites as, as some type of uh, hate crime. Okay. Now let's talk about the hypocrisy of their um, so-called system judges judgment system here. And I'm going to show the first one for you, and then we're going to go into the third, the second, and third one. And I do, of course, have some uh, scriptures for those. Okay. So let me show you these. Uh, let me show you these uh, clips. Okay. And this first one that you're going to see is. There, these these cops are trying to arrest this Edomite, okay, who has like a history of violence and just bad things. Now, watch his mom, okay. His father is actually is, is in this track in this tractor in this tractor, okay. Now, see, these are the Moabite cops. They're trying to get this guy here, okay. And I'm not going to play the sound because it's not going to come true, so I'm not going to play it. And see, they're rolling with him. There comes his mom, okay, trying to trying to get the cops him off him, and then he's going to take this uh. Uh, this um, this tractor, the 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 this um, bucket here, and try to cut them in half with it. Okay. Now we know that right now the way it ended, they they arrested, they arrested, and they charged. They you know they charged all three of them, all that stuff. Now what should have happened there if Esau was actually not biased? Is all three of them should have been dead. Notice that the you can see with the you saw in that video where the cop he just pointed his gun, but he never fired a shot. Jake just. Rolling on the ground, screaming, "Hey, officer, my hands hurt!" Oh, stop resisting arrest! Stop resisting arrest! And they knee him in the head, and then they'll pull a gun and they'll shoot him. That's how these are going to eat my justice with us. But amongst themselves, they ain't doing that. I mean, the man actually tried to use the dog on the 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 the, the, the chop off the dog on cop head, and he gets to walk away and go on court and get a citation for a couple of things. All right, showing you the stupidity and show you that. This, this man cleaned them is a, is a puppy show, is a pony show. Let's take a look at this one here. And it says, racist sign on Millinock storefront's back backlash. And basically talking about the June team where they closed this um, 
uh, office and then they put this on you and they said, June team, it's whatever, we're closed. Enjoy your fried chicken and call it greens, okay? And you know, this uproar that is, it's racist or whatever case like that. Okay, is it really racist? I don't think it's racist. If an Edomite put that on their store like that, you know what, they're speaking in mind. So you can clap your hands. At least that's one Edomite that actually has a little has a balls to come on and say exactly how they don't want to feel. Juneteenth is a, it's a bunch of bullshit, okay? Now I don't agree with this Edomite in any kind of way like that, but Juneteenth, I read, I came up before when I talked about these uh, KKK, these uh, skinheads, these coward skinheads who had to cover their face to go there and protest against it, okay? We don't, we, we, we don't celebrate any type of holidays in this Dogon Wicked Queendom. The only thing that we are looking forward to is those, 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 those uh, cherries that come down and destroy this place, World War III, and this man to come with the MOTB so we can get, over, get, this, get this bullshit over and done with quick, what these people are trying to do. So they're trying to take their sweet time with the gas prices, inflation, and all this other crap that they're trying not to hurt their own people. No, screw them. Bring it out, man. All right? We're ready to get the hell out of this doggone place. All right? Bring it out, Esau. Bring it the hell out. All right? We don't give two craps about any of your holidays or your shit like that. Or if you go after the two thirds and protest against them in regards to what they're celebrating, neither do we. We've told them they're full, they're full of shit. All right, let's show you the next video here. Okay, and then we're gonna go into some. We're gonna go in some some scriptures. Okay, and it says now watch this. Now, hopefully uh, it goes past this uh, where we can bring out the video. I want to show this video here, but for some unknown reason. It is not bringing this. Let's see if we can get this up here. Okay. All right. Now, this, 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 this just goes to tell you here. I'll read the headline. It says, expert officer did not need to punch man in face here. And really, let's see if I can rotate this over. Okay, if I can bring it out to this. Because I really need you to see this. Now, watch, watch this, because you've got to see this. Okay. This is still going on here, 2022. Okay. Nothing changed. Not a damn thing has changed. So... Uh, what's really happening here, what you see here is a, a Jay goes in the store and they're asking him to leave and he doesn't leave. So what then happens is, uh, uh, let's see if I can fast forward it here. Obviously I can't fast forward it here. So what, I'll, I'll, give, you the, I'll give you the story while, while, it's, while it's playing. So they asked him to leave and he decided he's not going to leave. Okay, and you know, just, just, so, just like that, the, the, the officer, of course he's gonna be a, a so-called a uh, white man um, decided that he would uh, that he would use uh, force on him, um, take him down. So now it's gonna it's gonna come to this video, uh, and you're gonna see uh, what transpired what transpired here. Here it is. So there's Jake right there, and I have the closed caption on so that you can see it. Okay, Artie Edwards, 34. Okay, Rivera Beach, and he went to this Walgreens. Okay. And they were telling him to leave and he wouldn't leave. Of course, Jake right there has a shirt off, like get a shirt kind of like, you know, and he's like in a combative kind of stand. Now here it is, okay. Here comes the red demon, okay. Red demon telling him roll. One time, boom, there it is right there. Boom, Jake got taken down. Notice that they covered the camera, okay, to not show up. There it is right there. Now they're gonna say he's resisting arrest and all the other craziness like that. Okay, so that's what happened right there, look. We've told you, Jake, so many times like this. You have to understand, we are in captivity, okay? We are prisons. The United States is a big cell, is a, is a big prison system for us, okay? And these states that we live in are prison cell blocks, okay? The town you live in is a prison cell block. So the sheriff, okay, the uh, deputy, okay, the warden, okay, are all the people that are in authority over us, which is these doggone so-called leaders of Great Babylon America, okay? Bottom line is, is you, you could have saved yourself an ass whooping by simply doing what? Leaving, leaving, okay? Agree with thy adversary quickly, okay? Let's he take you in front of the judge and I'm just roughly paraphrasing here or put your ass to damn that. And in, in, in this meantime, you got put down. Where do you fight? If you fall back, guess what? There was no win situation for you. Let's go into the book of Job uh, 20, Samuel verse four here. Because we're gonna go, we're gonna go talk a little bit about this, okay? This is the book of Job 20, Samuel verse four. And it says, Noah's, Thou not this old since man was placed on earth, because this is really going to the hypocrisy of Esau right now. Okay. And one why I just showed you a video, okay, the man tried to use a backhoe, you know, to try to crush two cops. And the mom came out there and wrestled the other one while the son is on the ground struggling with the other one. No boy, no boy gets hurt, no boy gets beat up, nothing like that. Uh Jake does not want to leave Walgreens and he gets slammed down. They cover the camera, but they understand that now, you know, it's evidence. Okay, it was uncalled for. 
And now they're trying to justify themselves like that against Jake. And it says, knowest that thou not this old ever since man was placed on earth that the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a summer. See, the hypocrite has a very short time here. This reason why we, we, we understand that even though we might feel a little angry and you might not want to agree with it, you know what? We are telling you, just leave. We don't own nothing here. We're not going to take anything with us. This is theirs. This is their heaven. They're the sheriff. They're the alpha male here in this wicked kingdom. Just walk away. Just walk away. All right? Vengeance is, vengeance is, is, is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He's going to take vengeance. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing here. Okay? And it says, Though his excellency mount up to heavens and his hair reach unto the clouds, because Esau is in the cloud, he don't think anybody can touch him. Certainly we can't touch him right now. All right? So he has nothing to fear. Okay? That's the reason why they can do what they do across this earth. Okay? And that's why they can do what they do with us with, with impunity and not hold themselves accountable for it. Okay? And it says, yet he shall perish forever like like his own dung. And what is dung? Shit. Okay? And that's what this man really is. He's the base of man. Okay? He is the lowest of the 18 tribes that were created. And he's the only tribe, Edomite, the so-called white man, that is going to be put to death forever, both body and soul, after he's he, he, he gone through the most horrific slavery ever known in the existence of the universe. Okay? Then he's going to be put to death forever. He's useless. All right? He's created to be destroyed. And we know this. And so that's why Walking over there, hey man, just, just walk out there, just suck it up, all right? And it says, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. So Yahweh Shai Mashiach is, going, is greater. Look in the back of me, you see the picture right there of what Revelation described, what he actually looks like and what he's going to be coming in, okay? These Edomites are starting to reveal right now what they're seeing out there, what they're calling UFOs, okay, which we know as a chariot. And they're understanding that that is coming and that what is coming. So our testimony of their witnesses, the two witnesses, the northern and southern kingdom, I am from the tribe of Benjamin as a witness against this man, this wickedness. I live over five decades in experience of wickedness from this man. All right? And we've also lived through multiple lives, okay, in reincarnation. I'm going through the continuous wickedness. And we deserve it because why? We did wrong. Okay? We did wrong. So we're taking our licks. But this man is going to get his licks. So Jacob needs to understand, look, Deal with it, okay? Now, I talked with the racist sign that was inside the talk with the, the, the sign that was there, okay? They forced the hypocrites, they forced, our, they forced all their holidays on us. They forced all of their, uh, all their, um, their, their way of life on our people. And our two thirds are still stuck in this dog on way of, this way of thinking and this way of mentality because they don't see any type of hope. Let's go, on, let's go into another uh, headline here. And we're gonna go into, this is, a man, now, this is going to be very interesting here because uh, these next, uh, these next um, two that I'm going to bring up um, serves as a warning, but it's also an interesting thing to take a look at um, when you look deep into it. Uh, I'm not going to go very deep into it for this because of time, but um, over time, you know, brothers will be bringing it out. You know, I know, I know the, the brother Zion Amat, he brought out a couple of these um, in short clips, and I think it was Magan, the brother Magan, he brought it out too. Uh, he brought it out during um, his um, his live on Saturday, um, you know, and they're bringing it out. So, um, yeah, take a look at this. So, it says a man. This is an insight that says a man contracted a new antibiotic resistant super gonorrhea strain having been having sex on an international trip. Okay, now it didn't really say who he had sex with. Okay, it says an Austrian man who had sex abroad caught a new strain of so-called super gonorrhea. That is resistant to most antibodies that commonly used to treat infection, scientists say. Okay, let's go into another headline here. And it says, at least six dead as Manning Gokul breakout ravaged Florida's gay community. And it goes into this, this virus here. So this is some type of virus that goes, uh, that, that is, uh, the outbreak is both sudden and deadly with the six dead coming from a total of just 24 cases among gay and bisexual men in Florida this year, the CDC says, okay? Now, let me bring this up here before I bring this back to me, okay? Here's a deal right here. Let's go into the book of Leviticus 20 and 13. It says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lay with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They should surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them, okay? Now, this is what Edom, okay? This is what Edom promotes, okay? This crap. What is this month that we're in right now, okay? Isn't this known as Dogon Pride Month, okay? 
Now, this is a warning to you because see a lot of you jigs out there, you, it's you, you two thirds, you you deal with this type of stuff. You're you're in those parades, you deal with this lifestyle. A lot of you brought a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you niggas out there on the down low. Okay, you like men. Okay, I see that walk around. And this makes it this make this is a critical warning to you to, to, to Jake's out there. And this is I'm only gonna be talking to the brothers and the sisters in this. Your sisters out there, and it's true, you need to be careful with man you get with. You really want to dig into his dog on history. I don't really care. Go into Google, Google his background. If he's been arrested and been in prison, does some time in prison or that, that might be a no-go. Okay. Watch out for these pretty dog on boys and stuff, okay? That right now, right now, the Lord is 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 is, is sending an S, super FCDs right now for you damn perversive paws out there. That like to go down and spread your damn legs, and also if you dug on niggas out there that like to stick your dug on uh, your tool in another man's asshole, okay, or your butt, which is not made to do that. Now we're gonna go into some scriptures here, okay, because what we see coming back here, okay, we're gonna go into uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 27, okay, because uh, 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 our people are uh, our people love to follow Esau, and they're involved in a lot of this, okay. There's no doubt that the Austrian man. Had sex with a freak uh, in, in Cambodia, he had sex with a man. Okay? He had sex with a man. And it says, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 27. And it says, the Lord Yahweh Shemashah will smite thee with the botch of Egypt and with the emeralds and with the scab and with the itch. So that word itch should actually catch you. So we know we're going to read these STDs, what? You normally itch down below. Okay? This charge might cause all kinds of craziness. Okay? Well off thou us be healed. So when you get these things like hepatitis C, you don't get, you, you can't. There's nothing Esau could do about it for you, okay? So this LBGTQ lifestyle right there that they promote, at the same time, they come around and they turn around. That's that's why this is the city of confusion. That's why this place is the land of confusion. Because at one minute, they're promoting this as a month for LBGTQ, and they want everybody to accept it, even up into their service. And I did a video in regards to that, that they'll be as women, okay, in the service when they go against a real force like Russia, okay, which is the means. I'm going to be bringing that up, okay? And they promote that at the same time they come around just like how they did in the 1980s. Those of you who are old enough to remember when the HIV and AIDS started in the 80s, they said that they started in those bad houses out in San Francisco. Okay, so once more again, Esau is using that same strategy for what he created in the lab. Okay, and he's pointing it out to the so called gay community, the so called gay community. Okay, which is a perverse and an abomination in the sight of anyone that's righteous. Okay, and especially the Lord, how about you now? Shy. Okay, now. This is that I gave, I just gave you a promiscuary warning. This is you, you raise your life, man, the man in this truth right here. You got a wife, just stick with your wife. Stick with your women. We have a reward that's coming for us in the kingdom, but right now our mission is plain and simple is to get out there and get this truth. You don't have time for these hoes, okay? And for you women, you better be very careful, okay? There's some judgment that's coming right here and it's already here right now. Whether it's from a natural cause or whether you're still creating a lab and then using these, these are, uh, the LBGTQ as a, as, a, as a means to come and say it came from them. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. So that's what we're seeing going on right here. Um, Jake, you like to promote, you like to dance this lifestyle here, okay? You better, you have been warned, okay? And we warned our people about doing this kind of crap. Because this is Jake's them right there, see? This is Jake them. They, they, they love being, you know, part of Esau's crap. And Esau loved that because why? Okay? Esau... The more, the less alpha male that's, that remains in Israel, then the easier that they can come in there and conquer our nation. But that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. All right. Let's go uh, into uh, another headline here. And we're going to go uh, take a look at, um, and I wanted to bring this up because, uh, again, we know that this, <laughs> we know that this fairy, this fairy thing that actually started with Egypt. Look at these Egyptians here. People, you get Jacob want to think that they're Egyptians. Notice that these are the men wearing mascara. And all kinds of craziness over their eyes and stuff like that, and see how they walk around with their shirt off. Doesn't that remind? Doesn't that remind you, okay, of the picture I just showed you before? Always have the always have the back off the little skirts and stuff like that, okay? So you might want to consider reconsider trying to call yourself Egyptians, okay? This is American Airlines ending service in three cities due to pilot shortage, okay? And we're also going to go into so they're saying that basically American Airlines saying that they have a shortage of pilots right now, and this is this is actually uh, going on in the in the whole industry. Uh, uh, as a whole, that they have a shortage of pilot. Now we're gonna we can see why, and we can suspect. Okay, this is CDC panel recommends U.S. senior get souped up flu shots. Okay, Soup, souped up flu shots. Now, 
Maybe I didn't share that screen with you. Okay, sorry, Salakio. There I was <laughs> looking away. I didn't share the screen with you. Let's go back again here. Um, American Airlines ending service in three cities with the pilot corner. Okay, and I'll show you that. And then also right here, this airline CDC panel recommends using uh, recommends U.S. citizens uh, seniors get souped up, and you see where the word is there: flu uh, shots. Okay, and let's go into this other one. Just the other day. Uh, second scandemic, Biden alarms Twitter with his cryptic comment, here we go again, in which he talks about, okay, uh, there might be, there's going to be a, a definite, uh, another uh, type of pandemic that's going to come. Now, you got to understand that when he said with pandemic, pandemic could be a whole lot of different things, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to be a health. It could be health. It could be the famine that's coming. That's a pandemic itself, food shortages, or, um, Lack of work, that's a, that's a pandemic itself, okay? Anything that's going to keep you uh, from carrying on what you carrying on the normal wickedness that you used to in Bar Great Babylon, it's going to be considered a, panic, a, a pandemic over here. Um, let's go into the book of Isaiah, okay? Because we need to go into the book of Isaiah uh, 19 and Psalm verse 14. It says, uh, the Lord had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. Now, before we go any further, let's find out what this word perverse means. Perverse. And it means showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable or in spite of the consequences. Again, it says, uh, contrary to the accepted or expected standard or practice or against the weight of the evidence or the direction of the judge on a point of law. Now, that's what it says. OK, now let's go back into the scripture. It says now and I'll explain that. OK, because. What is those perverseness? Now, when you think of perverse, you always think of like homosexuality or sodomite or whatever case like that. But what you see here, I, I just showed you three headlines here, okay? One, you got an airline that is shortage of a pilot, okay? And you have the CDC trying to force all the people to go get a souped up, okay, flu shot, okay? And then you got a, a leader that is whispering about another pandemic. So none of them are behaving in accordance to what would be a normal, a normal thing, okay? They're perverse. They're trying to force an ideology or, or force something that is not there. The reason why they're short a pilot is plain and simple. We already know that there was, there was a lot of mandate going on, okay? And it's no secret that a lot of the pilots quit during, the, during that time. Why are you trying to force these old people who probably maybe have four or five years to live, you know, to go do some souped up thing? Or why are you using the word souped up? Why don't you go a little bit more detail and explain that? What do you mean souped up? That doesn't sound scientific to use the word souped up, okay? Very, that doesn't sound scientific at all because y'all y'all like to call them your science and scientific. You're, you're bringing people, right? So why why are you saying the word souped up? Why don't you just why don't you use something else? So that should right away right away make you question that. Explain it and go a little further into this. What do you mean about that? And why is a president whispering about uh, another uh, scandemic, okay, or pandemic, whatever the hell that is, okay? So there's something that's coming up. It says neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head of tail branch. Or rush may do in that day should Egypt be like unto women, and it should be afraid of fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts Yahweh by Shimei which he shake it over. So there's great judgment right now. The Lord is putting this uh, putting the fear into these people in a lot of different ways. Now, if you have nothing to lose, then you really shouldn't be fair. This is the reason why we can't. This is the reason why Jake, you know, you two thirds. I mean, really had the word at the bottom. So where do you think you're really gonna go? You net. From since the 60s when they had the civil rights movement and the equal rights and all the other crap, what has really changed? Not a damn thing, okay? You don't think that maybe you want to try this, but then you can't because the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Hashem is, is in any of you. It has been prophesied that two-thirds will be cut off and put to death here in various shapes and form. That's either going to be through this pandemic or scandemic, okay, the sword. Some of you are going to be preserved. Some are going to be preserved for that lake of fire, okay? But none, nonetheless, two thirds is going to be cut off, okay? Because why? This is what you want. This is what you want to do, okay? Now, why are people going to be afraid like women? These people are never have a hard shortage of job, and I'm going to bring out, bring out this next headline that's really going to um, um, go into that a little bit right there because it's one of these mid state where these people are in for some some serious hell to come. Now, unbeknownst to you, and I put a, a, a video last night called Misdirection. Why are they putting all these little foolishness, non-value added, okay, news clips and, and feeds out there, distracting the people from the truth, okay? Unbeknownst to a lot of people, literally millions of people are, uh, are being laid off, okay? Now, 
in case any of you haven't figured out, you can Google this, okay? They said that basically 70% of the population in the United States, adult, working adult, cannot afford a $400 emergency. Well, right now, to, to fill up an SUV will cost you about $200. So you can't afford a $400 emergency, okay? That tells you that not only Jake is broke, but these Edomites and these other uh, nations that are here are broke too. Well, nobody's eating at those Indian restaurants, those so-called Indian restaurants or the Chinese restaurant and stuff. They get bad names. Everybody's fighting and bickering. So they depend on that because a lot of them can't speak English. So think of these other nations that are here that can barely speak a lick of English. They've had these little restaurants you go to and you cater to and all that stuff like that. They live in like hell. I see it up in the Bay Area. Okay? They get a restaurant, but they drive an old piece of shit car and they, you know, they live in, a, in, a, in an apartment that's about 400 square feet. Okay? But yesterday they walk around proud like they, they get better than your ass. Okay? So there's going to be a whole lot of this. You're going to see a whole lot of this because those people don't have the money either on top of Jake. Okay? But because our judgments come from Yahweh Shem Yahshai, because he has only given us the law, we are still going to get judged a lot harder. That's why even the smartest of us with multiple degrees and certifications and, I mean, who, was, who spent 24-7 trying to climb that hill up in Esau's world, still failed, still didn't make it, okay? Because we were never meant, okay, to be that successful here, all right? Let's go into the next headline here, uh, and we're going to go, we're, gonna be, we're getting close to the end here. Um, this is the next headline we're going to go into here. And it says, California must euthanize 350,000 trout after bacteria outbreak. Recreational fishing could see impact. Now, why would they add that recreational uh, fishing, recreational fishing? Who gives a crap about recreational fishing? That's food. Trout is food. So they're going to kill, they're going to euthanize 350,000 pieces of fishes. Okay, that could feed families, hundreds if not thousands of families, okay, because of bacteria. There's bacteria in the food all the time. When you're talking about a nation that's greedy, okay, there's a lot of shortcuts. Our gut, there's a reason why we go to the hospital so much if we're sick or you have that stomach ache, okay? There's a reason why we have, we're bloated all the time or we have issues or a lot of these ailments. It's because the FDA is a joke. They don't check, they don't check the stuff. And if the government, government workers are lazy as hell, Okay, so we eat contaminated food all the time. In fact, you've been eating contaminated food from the day you were born here because there's nothing natural about anything that Esau puts out there. Everything is chemically. You go get a cheesecake. A cheesecake should have about four ingredients inside of it. Yes, so you go to Costco, you buy a cheesecake, it's got about 17, it's got about 25 different ingredients. <laughs> okay, how does milk have five, 10 different ingredients? That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't it just be milk? Okay, or butter? It has 17 different ingredients inside of it. Okay, these are things that you gotta think about. Go and read their label and you should ask yourself that question. That's the reason why I now eat out. I cook my own food, okay? And one day I'll share the pictures of how, 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 how good of a cook I am, all right? And that's what we see going on right here. Let's go into the book of Ecclesiastics, okay? Because we need to look at, we need to take a look at this here. This is Ecclesiastics, I'm gonna bring this out to you. Ecclesiastics 1 and 9 says, the thing that had been, it is that which shall be and that which is done, that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Now, the reason why I brought this out, okay, because we have to understand the reason why they're utilizing those fishes, because what? There's a great famine that's going to be coming here in Great Babylon, America. This place also goes by the name of Egypt, spiritual Egypt. Let's go into the book of Genesis, and then I'm going to go into Revelations, okay? This is the book of Genesis 41 and 30. It says, and there, because now I just read to you Ecclesiastes about what was in the past is going to happen again because there's no new thing under the sun, right? This is Genesis 41 and 30. It says, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land. Okay? Now, we know we know about that. Okay, what happened with, you know, with, with Joseph when he had, when he had the, the, the dream of the, the Pharaoh, the dream of the skinny cows, and then the fat cows, and it was interpreted, okay, uh, seven years of plenty and then seven years of famine. Now they were prepared for this famine that was coming. On that's Egypt at that time. This time Egypt is not going to be prepared. Now the way the way the way the, the way the wicked is preparing it is they have food storage because they intend to go on the ground when Yahushua and Mashiach return with the with the heavenly uh, uh, army to destroy this place. Okay, so they're going to be on the ground. Many of them on the ground right now. So they got cities and they got tons of food on the ground. But the way they're going to do it, unlike in the past where it was given out to people who sold, you know. Um, to help everybody survive, this is going to be where you have to get that in your palm of your hands or in your forehead if you want to eat. And that's how this wickedness is going to go in this time. How do we know that we are in Egypt? 
Let's go into the book of Revelation 11 and 8. And it says, and the dead bodies, which is our dead bodies, okay, because we were in slavery. We didn't know who we were, okay? Shall lie in the street of the great city, which is America, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Early on, I brought out what? Pictures of Sodomites and the sodomy that's going on here in, in, in this place. And Egypt, we are still prisoners of war. We're still slaves here, okay? Where our Lord was crucified, okay? So this is with that great work that come out here when they're killing all the food, the cows, everything. And you know, the brother from GMS narrator, SC7 bought it out. Um, Zanamai bought it out. Uh, you know, the brother that Madan, he bought it out. Um, and several of the other brothers have bought it out. You know, I'm on to buy the uh, Mysteries of the, the Kingdom, the Trilogy. Okay, Maccabees, Yehawadah, Maccabees, um, 144. All, 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 everybody's bringing it out because that's, that's what we see happening right now. Let's go into another headlines here, okay? And this headline here, um, we're getting at the end here. Let me see if I can get the mouse over here. Okay. It says, as Russia threatens captured American vets, U.S. invokes laws of war. Now, this is a joke. This is a doggone joke. Okay. Now, he said, well, laws of war, supposedly they captured two, two veterans, two American veterans who went over there and decided to fight on the side of Ukraine, and they're going to execute them. Russia is going to execute them. America is saying, hey, you got to go and you got to follow the laws of war, okay? Now, th does America follow what they, what they, what they put, what they came up with in the Geneva, Geneva Convention? Absolutely not, okay? The atrocities of this man is countless, okay? Let me bring out a scripture and then I'm going to bring out some pictures to prove that this man is, damn, again, hypocritical Babylon, great Babylon America, these Edomites, the so-called white man, is a damn hypocrite, okay? But they're going to be hypocrite towards each other too. This is the book of Zechariah 11 and 5, and it says, who possesses slay them, and who's the possessors? We are still under the possession of these Edomites. That's us sitting there. I'm, 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 one, I'm a possession of them right now, currently. Okay, just the body. They, they don't have my soul. Okay, nor my spirit. All right, but currently, right now, as part of the uh, still, but we still under the judgments from Deuteronomy 28. So they are, they are, are possessed. We are their possession still. Slay them and hold them not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai, for I am rich. And who's rich? He's Edomites. And their own shepherds pity them not. So our people don't pity them. Two thirds don't give a crap about you if Esau come and stamp and stamp you or gives it out. Okay? Let me let's, let me share the screen with you here and let's show just how much of a hypocrite this man really is. So let's go. So Esau doesn't hold himself guilty for doing any of this. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is continue, This is war. Because this is war against the, 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 the kingdom of Israel. Okay? Northern and Southern Kingdom experience all of this, okay? Bought them both, okay? Raped and murder. Look at that. 12, 12 tribes, one nation. So that tells you the sheer size of our nation, okay? Let's take a look at, again, you're talking about laws of war? Take a look at the bombing that this, 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 this nation have done right here. Take a look at it. And on this, you can see here as many of the nations where our people live, okay? Brown nations, where this man uses technology, okay? Starting from the 50s all the way up to the 2000s and bomb these nations. And he does not hold himself accountable. But yet still, he got the nerve to talk about laws of war and the, the combatant. Those, 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 those so-called veterans went over there to, to go and combat against Russia, and Russia is doing exactly what an Edomite would do, murder them, okay? So, <laughs> you know, it just cracks me the hell up. Let's take, a look at, uh, let's take a look at another headline here. We're getting close, okay? And this is, uh, fast food worker arrested after customer finds bag of meta methamphetamine in their order. So here it is. Look at that piece of disease shit there. That's an Edomite right there. I, I've said it before. Okay. Now he served the food, and when they took the food out, they look and they found amphetamine in it like that. If someone is serving you looking like that, that should right away should make you suspicious. Now I'm glad I saw that because this again, that's what the watchmen are here for us to warn the sheep. Let's go into the book of Jeremiah. Um, this is very important here. Okay, this is the book. I'm sorry, it's like here. Let's go into the uh, First Thessalonians, okay, uh, five, some verse five, and it says, "Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober." Now, why do we need to be sober? Why do you? Why do you think we need to be sober? Yes, dear. We're living in that time right now where this man is looking to capture us in any kind of way. Somebody going through a dog on McDonald's drive through or, or getting a, a, a food. Now you jump in your vehicle or you, you know, you, you paid and you get the food to go. 
you don't know now it's a setup. You're driving down the street and the cops pull you over and you have intention of eating your food before you even get home. Okay, or you maybe eat it when you get home. And they pull you over because you didn't check your bag and you look and they, they search you because you got set up. And there it is, methamphetamine. You're now looking at doing doggone what? 20, 30 years in prison? You see what I'm saying? So these are the kind of things where you have to be sober with like that. So headlines like this is just not headlines for your entertainment. These headlines, okay, it's, it's a warning. It serves you as a warning. Because why, is, why did he put that methamphetamine inside that bag? Now they had to, you know, common sense to call the cops in the morning and he go and he gets arrested. Again, Jake, you don't need to go out and go eat if you don't need, if you don't have to cook your own dog on food. They're not giving you anything that you cannot prepare yourself. Okay. And it costs about one third the price of what it costs to go there. And does a guy like that, let's take a look at him again. Take a look at it. You really want a guy like just touching your damn food? Sandwich? I mean, take a look at that. You really want that guy to touch your sandwich, man. You think he's going to wash his hand if he goes to the toilet uh, or you know, anything like that or picks his nose? Come on. All right, let's go to the next headline while we're here. And it says, massive layoffs hit one of top U.S. aluminum plants halting operations. Now, this is in Kentucky. Now, I had a video here, but as usual, okay, one way Esau stops a lot of things is to put these stuff on crop. I mean, you see a summer fashion trends making a comeback, midi dressing to get this, this humo right there. Like that, so I, I can't play the video for you because why Esau, Esau has these videos that comes up there like that to try to distract you from hearing uh, some like that. But this layoff really goes, uh, really is um, a, a key thing here in prophecy. Why is that? Why is this a prophecy? Let's go into the book of Jeremiah, uh, fifty-one, Psalm fifty-one. It says, "A song of cry coming from Babylon, and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans, because the Lord Yahweh Shemashai had spoiled Babylon and destroyed all the for the great voice." When her waves do roar like great waters, a noise of their voices uttered. Now, we, we're used to being unemployed. We're used to being played with when we go for job interviews, last hired, first fired, let go, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's a condition we're in right now. And if you haven't accepted that, then you're dug on. You, you're really in Disneyland right now, okay? And that's the reason why we were given specific laws not to follow the heathen, do the ways of the heathens, which is celebrate these holidays will make you broke. Giving gifts and stuff makes you broke. Celebrating Christmas, 4th of July and all that stuff makes you damn broke. You're cooking food for all these people and all the other stuff like that. That makes you broke. And now you get a lot of Jake that are broke right now because why? They've been living it up here in Great Babylon. They must go and do everything that they're doing. You know, the, 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 the so-called black men, Latino men, like Native American men are broke because they're taking all these whores with STDs out for $300 date dinners and stuff. And like this doggone whore wouldn't go to the damn sober cook. Or oh, if, if Jake decided he would cook for this whore, uh, she, she doesn't want, she thinks he's cheap. Because she wants to sit out there in her best in her best weave, you know, roll her head, and then she can go back to a friend and go, man, I got this nigga to take me out to go eat steak and lobsters and all that stuff, and all that craziness and stuff. He, I, I can go on there. I, I can go on all day with this, okay? And every one of us have gone through some some crap like that at some point in time in our life early on, okay? So you see right now, okay, the 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 fat lady is saying right now, and it's time now to pay the price, okay, for your for your iniquity, which is wickedness and doing all that stuff, okay? Now these Edomites are not used to that. Okay, that happened in Kentucky with that massive layoff. And I can guarantee you that most of the workers in there were Edomites. There probably was J2 out in Kentucky, but Edomites, they've never experienced this before. Edomites don't save money. And the reason why these low level Edomites don't save money is because they don't have to. They never had to be out of work. They don't know what it's like to go unemployed for like months on end all the time. They don't know what it's like. Okay, they go on fancy vacation, run up their credit cards, all the other stuff, live their life, have the tea parties, all the other crap like that. And they're about to pay a little bit of. Uh, they, they're about to pay a, a, a final what it's like to be a, a, a nigger in this country, to be, to be quite frank with you, okay? Now that's where that layoff goes in there. Let's go into the next headline here. We're getting close to the end here. And this is uh, Sri Lanka. Now, this, um, this goes into why Sri Lanka economy collapsed and what's next. And this goes into what happened in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka economy literally actually collapsed. Um, the brother... Azan Ahmad um, had brought this up and um, I want to expand a little bit more on it. Um, and basically what, what, is, what is taking place here is that this nation, okay, is literally in 200, is literally in uh, $51 billion in debt. Now their currency is also fall by 80, 80%, which means that their currency is worth 20 cents to the US dollar because the US, the fiat, the US fiat, 
currency is still, you know, the currency of the earth. Okay. And these smaller nations, these poorer nations that have lied in bad with Babylon uh, are really going to feel the pain right now. So they've got starvation going on there. The economy was dependent on tourism. Nobody's going over there because of the, the pandemic. So you see how this, you see how the dominoes fall in place here? Now, all across the earth, this pandemic, this scandemic was, 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 was taking place. So this is getting a lot of people who are paranoid and scared. You get people walk around with 100 degree temperatures with a double diaper in their damn face, okay? Now, their, their economy collapsed. And it's going to be coming here to America soon at some point. But all across this earth, these smaller countries' economies are going to collapse, okay? Those who have laid in bed with this whore. Because you cannot do, okay, you cannot, you cannot do what a, rich, what a rich man does. A poor man should not be friends with a rich man because you cannot... You can't play at that level, okay? You're, you're not in that person's league. And that's what these nations are going to find out. Let's go into the book of Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's Yahweh Shemashah's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken off of wine, therefore the nations are mad. They don't understand why they're not prospering. The same way that we came over here and didn't, under, didn't know the fact that we are under a curse as to why we can't prosper. That's why we march. We walk, we walk up to the sign that we shall overcome we believe in all the damn bullshit from Martin Luther King Jr. and all these other Jesse Jackson, all these other fools. Okay. We even thought, you know, Obama was the first black president. We thought we were black. Okay. Not understand that Obama is a dog on Edomite. Okay. And we 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 drank every dog on thing that Esau pulled out there. And it wasn't until the spirit of Yahweh Shimiao Shai came upon an elect set of men, okay, to come out and start to teach this truth that the rest of us are starting to wake up. So some of us been in that, was, was, was deep sleep for decades. Some maybe even five or six decades, okay? In that deep sleep, mad, that madness, man. That's what these nations are in right now. They, they're, they're drunk and they're, 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 they're mad. And when you think it was mad, it's like, oh, you like crazy, right? They're gonna pay and we're gonna laugh. There it is right there, all right? Now let's go into the final, let's go into the final one here because I always like to say um, what I feel like is one of the best flash here. I'm gonna play this for you. Okay, we're gonna play this here. Now read, 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 read the, the, the closed caption here. And there's a part I wanna pause and I want you to really consider that when I pause it. Okay, now he's talking, this is Putin, he's talking about Ukraine and all that stuff, but I want you to take a look at this. Look at that. When they won the Cold War, the U.S. declared themselves God's own representative on earth, people who have no responsibilities, only interest. Okay? That's the red horse. Taking, a piece, taking away peace from the earth. Okay? Now you can see what, 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 what the Medes, and this is the Medes, what I was telling you about, is thinking about Babylon America. Okay? Let's continue on with this. Let's, let's go back to it again. Okay? And it says they have declared those interests sacred. Now it's one way traffic, which makes the world unstable. Okay. They live in the past their own, under their own delusions. They think that they have one and then everything else is a colony. And the people living there are second class citizens. Okay. Now I'm going to end it right there. Okay. And that's the part of, that's the part of what you, what you need to see there. Now, why, why, why is he coming up with that? Putin, and Russian, they all watch our videos. You know, maybe not me in particular, but they do watch the elders and those, the brothers are there who've been out there a lot longer, um, who are uh, the, the elders, the ones I learned from, you know, and the ones who my teachers learn from and et cetera, et cetera, you know, how, you know how it goes. Okay, which is the reason why we started and open and we give double honors to the teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone. So they understand, Putin, the, the means they understand that they are destined to be have victory over great Babylon America, our oppressor. This is the way we're gonna be free. This is how this is the work of Yahushua and Mashiach. Okay, let's go into the book, okay, of Isaiah 13, okay, starting with verse 17. And it says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. Who's the Medes? Russian. We just saw the, 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 the Russian president. And nothing they say in the media about him being sick and all this other crap is true. They're dominating Ukraine, and next they will dominate, okay, Lithuania, Poland. And then eventually NATO will get involved. And so the United States, and that's where the United States is going to meet its demise very, very quickly and decisively. 
Okay, and it says, Behold, I will serve the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they should not delight in it. Now, last week I brought up a reparation from California and how they wanted to do reparation. Okay, and this man, Esau, these Edomites, okay, from Babylon, they assume that they can buy everything. And I've said the only reparation you're going to do is recompense from the Lord Yahweh Shimei Ashai, who's going to recompense you for all of this. There's no amount of money that you can pay to get out of the judgment for what you've done to the tribe of Israel. None. There is no amount of money. What is really going to take place is you can look forward to this. Okay? Curse is coming on you, and you are going to be rewarded double according to her works in the cup that she had filled with a double. That is what recompense and what the payoff is going to be. And you know, Yahweh Bashimi Ashai has also put that spirit in the means. That's why it says, which shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So once again, once they're, once they're punking this military, the US military, the, the Navy SEALs, all the special forces that they parade down the road and this little homo sodomite military that they have over here with all the might and power that they have, once they're punked and destroyed, when you hear the deaths in the tens of thousands, whole entire fleet sank, battalions and brigades, destroyed by the hour, okay? They will try to buy themselves, to buy their way out. They're gonna to try to come to a peace accord, but that's not gonna happen, oh no. See, the means were put here for a specific purpose, armed to the T for a specific purpose, and this isn't a damn thing. This sodomite queendom is gonna do about it. And it says, their bow should also be dash, should also dash a young man to pieces, and they should have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes should not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, okay, great. Great America that everybody wants to come into, that everyone now is looking their eyes and going, realizing that this is the problem on this earth. Okay? Here, this, this nation is the problem of the earth. This particular headquarters of the empire of Edom is the problem. That's the reason why its own allies is going to turn it too. But here, let's continue here. The beauty of the child of these excellencies should be as when God overthrew Sodom, this the wicked, abominable nation, and Gomorrah. Okay? All, of, all the surrounding cities were destroyed. In the process okay that's that is a collateral damage of war okay it shall never be inhabited neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation so this is going to be like uh, uh, uh an amusement park except it's going to have like you know some some exotic creatures living on it and the rest of the earth will be able to go by and swing by okay of course after they come out of captivity but we will be able to go when we tell tell our children the story of this wicked queendom those of us who never see death lord willing i'm one of them that never see dead and, and have the memory of this time and our bodies instantly change, we'll be able to tell our children the stories of this wicked queendom that oppressed us and did all these horrible things to us. And we can then fly out, we can fly and take a look at this place that's continuously burning forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. All right? And that is the future that is coming here to this wicked queendom. Okay? So Putin has a right and Putin can brag. And the reason why he can brag is because Putin knows as well as his members and his generals and everybody knows, is that they are the Medes and they are prophesized to destroy America's military and destroy the teeth out of this lion that has oppressed the children of Israel continuously and endlessly. Okay? So Lord willing, you were edified, Lord willing, you were edified today. I'd like to close it by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, by Kakadash, double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of the great millstone, also to you brothers that are putting on the true faith in the fear of the sheep, and you brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom.